Hello everyone, my name is Soraya and welcome to my brand new channel. So I actually used to have a previous YouTube channel and it didn't really go anywhere because I didn't really have much of a vision or what I wanted it to be. And so I kind of just wanted the ability to start scratch and just kind of just share different experiences and kind of my journey and where I'm at in life right now, especially while I'm growing my faith in God. Um, a few of the things that I feel like are very important about me is that I just graduated from college in May, um, May 2021. I got a bachelor's of science in biology. And right now I am in my postgraduate year, um, taking a bit of a gap year to just kind of figure out what it is I really wanna do. In the meantime, my goal is to take different classes. I'm a medical assistant at a dermatology office, and I'm just trying to be able to travel. I'm going to Cancun very soon. And yeah, ultimately, I'm just trying to take this year to get more experiences, to document a little bit of my journey before I decide to fully commit to medical school. So if you're interested in seeing anything related to medical assistant vlogs, uh, me taking classes, or anything related to faith, then you are in the right place, and I hope you guys stay tuned. So the rest of this video is actually going to be clips of me starting my first week being a medical assistant i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is soraya for those of you who do not know me today is my first day working as a medical assistant Woo -woo! so i wanted to vlog the experience share with you how i got this position so basically many people don't well ugh. So basically, when I originally applied or was applying for jobs, I was looking more for a scribe position because you don't have to get certified to become a scribe. And But regardless of whether you have a certification or not, most places require like certain levels of experience. And so I was struggling to find any kind of healthcare position. I was looking for just front desk, um, like kind of like a what is it called a secretary kind of position in a healthcare office i was looking for like patient service representative positions anything that didn't really require a certification and so i never really pursued the medical assistant route because i thought you had to be certified but then when my friend told me that she um got a job as a medical assistant I was like, how'd you do that? Did you like get certified? And she was like, no, it's just training on the job. You don't have to be certified to do like medical assistant. And so I decided to apply and I ended up getting the job. So it actually works out. So for those of you who don't know that you don't need a cert certification to work as a medical assistant, now you know, you don't need to be certified. And so it's a wonderful way to get honestly more experience than being like a scribe. Um, yeah, because you're actually like doing stuff hands on with the doctor. So right now, I'm in the office. This is what it looks like. It's 10.30, so I've been here for about two hours and I must say I'm honestly exhausted already. I've just been shadowing. We've been doing like a lot of full body exams and whatnot, um, a couple of biopsies, but I'm just kind of like learning the terms and whatnot of like different medical terms which it's a little overwhelming probably why i'm exhausted already abbreviations and just stuff like that but other than that it's cool uh they actually offered starbucks so i got a starbucks order which i'm really excited about yeah so that's what day one is so okay so good morning today is day two of me being a medical assistant so i think i decided to switch up the video i'm gonna do a week my first week as a medical assistant um the reason why i didn't do one day is because i didn't get that much footage to be honest with you my first day so what kind of footage are you really about to obtain on your first day because you're just going to be learning and figuring things out so yeah like i said i didn't really get a ton of footage yesterday was i wouldn't say it was boring it was just a lot it was i would say it's pretty overwhelming because i've never been a medical assistant before i've never done a lot of the things 
in there before that I was observing. And so it was just overwhelming, like, how am I gonna be able to do all of this? Um, but they did give me some materials. I'll show you that in a few. And I'm just gonna be studying that every night. <sighs> and then plus, like at the same time, it's so hard with my, yes? Yes. The other challenging thing is like, I work nine to five every day. So it's hard to fit in like appointments and stuff like that because you know, you work nine to five and most businesses are open nine to five. And I didn't realize how much like I schedule things like dental appointments and dumb stuff like going to get my car service. It's like always hard to find those appointment slots. And very interesting lately is I need to get in touch with these schools because I'm supposed to be taking classes as well. And so now I'm gonna take night classes because I work nine to five every day, which is cool, but it's just, it's hard to get in touch with these places. So hopefully I will be able to have answers for you soon on the classes situation because it's been a chaotic week trying to sign up for these courses. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I didn't get to show you the black one. I'll show you that one tomorrow, I guess, or whenever I wash it. But I just wear a typical scrubs. I got this one from Walmart. This one was the more affordable pair. It was like $12.88 for the shirt and then also like $12.88 for the pants. Um, I would say they're like not as, they're definitely not as comfortable as the black pair I own, but they, I don't know, once you put them on and you start wearing them, they start to feel comfortable. But yeah, that's, that's okay. So right now it is 12.21. I'm about to go on break. I've been doing a lot of paperwork. I of course can't show you the paperwork due to HIPAA regulations, but um, in between like learning the documentation and like how to do, it's basically just documenting patient records, any surgeries or biopsies that were performed. p.m. It's not bad that I get off at 6 o'clock, but it's not ideal right now because I got to call schools because I'm trying to take classes and stuff and most operations and businesses close at 5. And this lady's been trying to work with me and get these calls in because they actually close at 8. So I be trying to get as close to the time. So she gave me her number to text her. Good morning. Today is day three. Um, I wanted to show you guys my scrubs today. I'm in a little bit of a rush because I have to go pick up my lunch and I wanted to get a few snacks because if you watched the clip yesterday, I told you like that no eating is not gonna be for me. Um, these are what the black scrubs look like. These were on the slightly more expensive side. They were like $18.44 for the top and the bottom. So they were about almost $40. Um, but these are extremely comfortable um, compared to the other ones. So just, I would share that. Okay, so day three, 
Um, today is going by so much more quicker. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to it or what, if I had like just a really good morning, but it's 10 o'clock. It's already almost, not almost, but kind of almost lunchtime, which is 12.30. And so far I've just been trying to work on getting these documenting notes better like just you know practice oh my god <laughs> i've just been trying to get better at writing like patient notes so today we had our first general words patient and hippo of course but it was like my inner germaphobe kicked in and i was like oh my god So right now it's four o'clock, about one to two hours left of my of my fourth day here. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm ready to go. But I'm excited because it's about to be my weekend. 